I'm going to show you how we can do advanced integration with the occupancy monitoring app in the Wisenet Wave VMS. By default, you just get these basic messages on the right hand side here or a notification pop up here, assuming you've configured the HTTP device integration. So this was a generic event. It has a source here. You can see I just used the words occupancy over limit. It could be whatever you want. If you have multiple cameras, you would need to distinguish them, you know, cam one, cam two, or something like that. You have a source and a caption. It doesn't matter which one you use. They can be different text in each one. Just know what you're using. Back in Wave, we are going to right click on a camera, go to camera rules. We're going to hit add. We're creating a new rule. We're going to create a generic event. And then I would have to then copy and paste either the source or the caption. It doesn't matter as long as you keep it straight of which one it is. So I'm creating a rule for when this camera goes over the occupancy limit. Maybe I want it to pop it up on the screen. Maybe I want to send a mobile notification uh, to a mobile app. Maybe I want to play a sound file um, out, and the sound file can be played out of uh, the PC and or out of a camera. So two options there. We could, uh, very common, is send a bookmark. And in this case here, I might want to bookmark the camera itself, the video, so I can see when someone was coming and going. And I want to create a bookmark when that event happened uh, on the occupancy monitoring stream. So I'm going to choose both options there. I'll choose my duration, how long the bookmark should happen before and after. And I can put a tag as well. So occupancy limit exceeded. We can schedule this if I only want this to happen certain hours of the day. Great. And then we'll go ahead and save that. So now my occupancy is already exceeded. Let me lower this down so it's below the limit. I didn't create a rule for that yet. Uh, you can see my generic event I created in the, in the uh, app is there. But now when we go from 9 people to 10 people, it'll change. There's my event over there. My text will change here on screen. I should get my bookmark on my recorded video down here. Oh, I need to go to the bookmark tab. Sorry about that. And now you can see my bookmark was created. It has my text, camera one, occupancy over limit, my tag, everything is there. I can easily play, download, edit it. And in my list on the right, there is my bookmark video with the actual video um, preview snapshot right there. I can then search for it, things like that. If I want to have multiple actions happening, I would just add additional events. Another neat thing you can do with the Wave VMS and the occupancy monitoring uh, application is if I wanted to be able to search on motion and see, well, when did that person change or the number change from one to two to three to four and so on. We can right click, go to camera settings, and by default there's no motion detection option here. We're going to go to the expert section. Normally we do motion detection on the second stream. Well this application here only has one stream, so we're going to tell it to force motion detection on the primary stream because that's all there is. Now once I apply that, now we have a motion tab. And I can tell it where to look for motion. I'm going to look for motion on the whole screen. Great. And now when my occupancy count changes, there'll be enough pixel change in this video that when I then do a smart search, the little running man icon here, and draw my zone, you'll see wherever there is motion is going to show up. Uh, and it's very quick and easy to see when those changes happened. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.